Hey, Radio Logic DJ users. Want to show you something today called logos or IDs. It's called logos in the manual inside of Radio Logic DJ. What am I talking about? Well, let's find a track and let's go to the properties of that track. And there you'll see the little logo button. What's that all about? Well, here we go. If, for example, if you've got a long track, it's an instrumental track, uh, and you're broadcasting that, and it's like, well, okay, we need to have a little bit of an ID thrown in amongst that. You can pick a particular spot in a song, or you can have it done automatically for you. Uh, and what that will do is it'll throw in one of your IDs out of a set palette, and from there, it will play it in the background, or however you decide that it's going to work. Okay, so let's have a little look at this first. So what we really need to do is go into Properties, and make sure we've got everything turned on. So this is the global properties for Radio Logic DJ. To come down here to play logos using track properties, that needs to be checked. And you've got options here where you can actually change these numbers. If, for example, you've got a track that is longer than what is in here. So you can put that in there. You can choose a palette that you're going to take it from. And from there, we'll show you how to do that in a second. So make sure that's ticked on. So we'll go back to our song with the properties, and we're just using this one for an example. So you can go properties this way, and down in here we've got logo, and we need to find a position to put that. So let's just have a quick little listen. So much left and all I've left to So we could pop something right in there. Now this is our marker point where it's actually going to place it. So if we put logo there, there's our logo. Now the other thing we need to do is actually go to our palette list. So this is where we're going to put our logos or IDs. So we go to palette. I've got one down here called logos slash IDs. I've got one in here at the moment. Optimal is live baby live. There we go. And I can change the volume of that from this palette. That'll change all the levels of all the palettes. Optimal is live baby live. So I just put that back down there to 55%, that's fine. If I choose duck on this palette, what will actually happen is it will duck the players up the top when you actually set it going. Optimal is live, baby, live. And then the faders come back up again. And you can set that in your global settings as to what your voiceover. So if you go back here, voiceover ducking, and how far down you want to pull it. And you want to have it so it's noticeable, but not so noticeable uh, to get these things over the top if you're going to use the ducking mode. I won't use it in this particular instance, but there you go. What we can do also is we can add another one to there. Here's one that I've got. This is actually the same guy who's singing the song who did this for me. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We can drop that in there. All right, so back here. So we've got our logo, it's set at 26 seconds, and at the moment it's just for the default player. So what we want to do, come down here, is select our logos and IDs. There we go. And now inside this song, it will play an ID in a random order from one of these. So if there's more in there, it will be able to use more. So if we go and play the song. So much left and done. You can see the countdown as to when the logo is going to start. So much more could be all I've left to give. Optimal is live, baby, live. There we go, just like that. So that's how a logo works. So you can use that to your advantage in any particular way that you like. So I hope that's interesting and it's something that you can utilize inside of Radio Logic DJ and sort of lifted a little bit of the veil of what was going on. Like, what are these logo things? Hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Loving the feedback from your comments. Uh, it's always great to read what's being helpful. So we'll catch you in another video soon. Take care.